Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And today we're going over that bridge. So this is the new bridge built in Brunei. Magnificent looking thing, isn't it? This huge onion dome at the top, all covered in gold. Uh, this bridge was recently opened just a few days ago, and so far I've not been over it yet. But that all changes today. So please join me now, and we're gonna travel up this hill here, quite a steep hill actually, around the back and then across the bridge. And when we get to the other side, I have no idea what I'm gonna do because uh, I've never been on the other side of that part of Brunei. <laughs> so I don't know anything about the roads. I don't know how safe they are. And uh, I don't particularly know how to get home, but that doesn't matter when you're on a bicycle. All that matters is you enjoy the ride. Gents, take my glasses off for a second. It's a hot day, which is nice because recently we've had a lot of wet weather here in Brunei. It's, uh, I think it's been part of monsoon season, so it's been raining pretty much every day. There's rain forecast for later in a few hours, but at the moment it's nice. Over here to my left, if you don't know, um, I hope I get this right because if I don't get it right, I'm going to look silly. This is Kampong Aya, which basically means water village, uh, very simply. So all these people live in these houses on stilts, a bit like Venice. Not quite as pretty as Venice, but sort of the same concept. 
um, of living above the water and then a lot of these people you know they run the water taxis or the fishing boats and things like that they've even got a masjid or a mosque in the water village they've got schools uh, they've got everything there basically shops it's like a whole city all built on water which is pretty amazing really so this is the view atop the bridge um, I believe this bridge has been named after the Sultan's first wife um, so the actual there's a hospital here in Brunei which is also named after the Sultan's first wife so I'm wondering whether the bridge is going to have the same name as the hospital um, so my, my wife says anyway uh, she says that that would probably happen which would be quite interesting so it would be like I think the, the hospital if I, I get this correct is Ripas um, that's the abbreviation of the the, the royalty's name Ripas because uh, I don't know the whole I don't know the whole name it's it's quite long so as far as I know the bridge will be named the same thing I'll put a little annotation below or something so you can you know get a bit of information on that if you want to look it up more speed boats coming in these are all the water taxis that carry people around funny story about the water taxis actually is that um, when I first came here to Brunei and I was walking around with my wife who was actually then my girlfriend still uh, or my fiance should I think now she was my fiance because I I proposed to her in Bath in the UK or Bath uh, actually in the Roman baths I got down on one knee in the Roman baths because I love Roman history so I uh, proposed within the Roman baths I actually got them to open the top section of the bath up so we were the only people out there on the bath top section when I proposed which is quite nice Anyway, another story for another day. Um, when I first came here to Brunei, we were, I was walking around with my, uh, my now wife. And uh, as you pass by the, the side of the river and the side of the, the little streams and canals around here, people from the water taxi shout you, you know, oh, guided tour this much, or go to Water Village this much. And uh, they'd always say like, I don't know, do a pull Lima or something. Do a pull or ring it or something like that. So like twenty twenty dollars or t uh, twenty five dollars, you know, to, to basically go to the water village, which in English money is like I don't know, like ten ten pounds, something like that. Which for someone who in the UK, if you take taxis in the UK, that sounds pretty reasonable. You're like, well, ten quid, yeah, okay, that's not too bad. Twenty quid both ways. That's about that's less than what I used to pay to go home from uh, Nottingham city centre uh, if I went by taxi in the UK. So, you know, you think, mm, yeah, okay, 10, 10 quid, but maybe another day. Anyway, my wife heard them and she said to me later, do you know how much it is for us? It's like 50 cents. <laughs> they charge locals 50 cents to go from one side to the other and they charge the tourists $25. <laughs> and that's the problem I have here in Brunei. I mean, I live here, I intend to live here for the rest of my life with my wife, obviously. I intend to have kids here. One day I'll, I hope to be a citizen once I, uh, I master the language and I can pass the, the citizenship test. So, but anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, so, you know, it, it's annoying because when I go out shopping, like if I go to the market or something to buy some fruit or veg, or I, uh, you know, I just go out anywhere to buy something. If I go with my wife and she pays or she, she asks for the price, we get a different price from if I ask. If I go out on my own, they just think, foreign worker or they think you know foreign teacher or just somebody here on holiday and they charge me a ridiculous price and sometimes I'll go to the shop twice and the first time I'll go with my wife and it'll be like something will be one dollar and the second time I'll go it'll be two dollars because I'm on my own so what else can I tell you about Brunei well I tell you what the food's good here the food is really good um, the food here is fresh, it tastes really fresh, like when you eat chicken here, when you like buy a chicken here, it doesn't taste chemically, it doesn't taste processed like it does in the UK. I don't know what it is, like I couldn't believe how good the chicken tastes here in Brunei. I've been eating the same chicken in the UK, you know, from the supermarket for, like I say, most of my life. And then you come here and you buy a chicken and it's just, it just tastes real, it tastes how a chicken should taste. Same for the eggs. The eggs taste fresh. The fish, obviously we're right next to the sea here, so the fish is fresh and delicious. Um, there's such a variety of fish as well. Like I've always noticed in the UK, there's a real lack of variety in the supermarkets. 
You know, like when you go to the fish counter, there might be a bit of squid, a trout, some salmon, maybe some cod, and that's about it. Like when you go to France, there's loads of different kinds of fish. There's, there's fish that we don't eat in the UK. We don't have them on offer to us. They say, oh, the UK uh, buyer wouldn't buy them, but we don't have them on offer. So, and it's when you go to the fish market here, there's just, you can get anything you want. You can get shark, stingray, crab, lobster, prawns, cuttlefish, squid, octopus, you name it, swordfish. Like, you can actually buy an entire shark if you want to. <laughs> um, so, the, the variety of food, the freshness of the food is great. People really love food here. There's food on offer almost everywhere you go. I wouldn't be surprised if someone starts like building a food stall here right on the bridge. I would be really surprised if they don't. I shouldn't say that because now someone's going to do that. They're going to start selling drinks here on the bridge. Yeah, the variety here is awesome. I want to talk more about Brunei if I can and more about the pros and cons, what makes this place wonderful and what makes it home to me now. I think it's a good place to, to have a family and a good place to raise my kids, so... <sighs> Thanks for listening, anyway. I think it's time to do some more cycling. interesting design. You've got two lanes here, but then they split off at the end, so this is going to cause a lot of problems. I think people are going to be uh, bumping into each other trying to get in the right lane, I think. So I'm going to have a quick cycle down here and uh, see what I can see. Like I say, I'm not really familiar with this part of Brunei. 